You can create your own self-striping sock yarn using our sock blanks. These sock blanks are double-stranded, so your dye pattern will be the same for both socks. This tutorial will teach you how to use jacquard acid dyes on these sock blanks in order to create a number of different visual effects. Dye safely. Make sure to use a dust mask to prevent inhalation of the dye powder, and wear gloves to protect your hands. Keep the jars of dye powder closed as much as possible, and dye in a place with good ventilation. Soak your sock blank thoroughly for at least an hour, longer if possible. Assemble all of your materials. Protect your work surface with several layers of newspaper. Cover the newspaper with plastic wrap. To make your stock dye solutions, measure out one cup of water per jar. Add one half teaspoon of dye powder to the water. Make sure to wear gloves and limit the amount of time that the jar is open to prevent inhalation of the dye powder. You can also add two tablespoons of white vinegar at this point, depending on your desired effect. Screw the lid on the mason jar firmly and dissolve the dye powder by gently shaking the jar. Using a funnel, fill your squeeze bottles with the dye solution. Gently squeeze the excess water from the sock blank. Lay the sock blank on an old towel, roll it up, and then step on it to firmly squeeze out even more water. You want the sock blank to be damp all the way through, but not dripping any excess water. Lay out your sock blank flat on the plastic wrap. Starting with the lightest color, use the squeeze bottles to paint your sock blank in your chosen pattern. You can use gloved hands to massage the dye solution into the sock blank. This will make sure that the sock blank is completely saturated with dye and helps prevent white spots from showing up in your finished yarn. Wipe the excess dye from the plastic wrap, then wrap your sock blank in plastic wrap and roll it into a coil. Bring two inches of water to a simmer in a large canning pot. Make sure that this is a pot you only use for dyeing. It won't be food safe after you've used it to dye your sock blank. You can use a piece of aluminum foil with holes poked in it to steam your sock blank. Make sure the bottom of the aluminum foil doesn't touch the surface of the water. If it touches the water, your sock blank may get too wet and the dye might migrate. Place your plastic wrapped, coiled sock blank into the steamer basket. Cover your sock blank with a lid and let it steam for 30 minutes to set the dye. After 30 minutes, carefully remove the sock blank bundle from the pot and let it cool. Don't open the bundle while it's still hot, or you could get a steam burn. Once the bundle is cool, remove the sock blank from the plastic wrap and rinse it in lukewarm water until the water runs clear. Use a towel to dry out your sock blank and then hang it up in the shower or over a towel to let it air dry. Knit right from your sock blank. You can knit both socks at the same time right from the blank. The yarn will be a bit crinkly, but this will ease out the first time that you wash or block your socks.